Congratulations, guys. Uh, first question is, is to Michael. Uh, what were your thoughts after the goal? Um, I don't know. It's always great to score, but I mean, it's more about the team. I was happy that the team went up one nothing, and uh, you know, I was hoping that we could keep applying more pressure and hopefully get a second goal to build a bigger lead. You're pretty ecstatic. Oh yeah, I mean it's a national final. I'm a senior. It's the last game I'm ever gonna play, and of course I'm gonna be ecstatic going in a big game like this. Did you did you feel like when you scored you'd done enough? There was about 13 minutes on the clock. Um, yeah, I saw the clock. It was around 15 minutes left. Obviously, um, I didn't think that at all. I mean, Messiah had been pressuring us the whole time. Uh, you know, we didn't try, we didn't try to change anything. We still wanted to keep attacking them. Obviously, we wanted a second and third goal. Uh, we we definitely weren't happy with one goal. Um, we kept doing the same things, and you know, uh, you know, things happened at the end of the game, and they scored a goal. Um, in the first half, uh, I mean, you know, and uh, uh, you guys had, had created a lot of great opportunities. In your mind, did you think it was a matter of time so you guys got that first opener? I mean, I think we came out hard. Like, we got our chances really early. Like, we took them by surprise. And yeah, I thought we might grab one in the first half. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, we were spreading the ball wide, trying to serve the ball in, like Coach said. And because he said the coach, the goalie is kind of weak with his hands, so we wanted to challenge him. So we were serving some balls in in the first half and trying to put some pressure, but we didn't get one. Um, honestly, I got a, a good pass into me. Uh, my teammate told me to turn with it. I looked up, uh, saw the goal, and I just tried to fire it the far post as hard as I could. And, you know, it turned out was a pretty decent shot. So. Eyes open or closed? <laughs> uh, they were open. They were open. What were you guys able to do defensively and regulation? They only had one shot. I mean, our defense has been phenomenal all year long, especially, I mean, they basically, defense wins championships, I mean, as you know. And, they, you know, they've, the last two months, they've been playing unreal. And, uh, I mean, Messiah, with their offense, you know, they're one of the best attacking teams in the country, if not the best. So I feel like our defense played phenomenal today, and uh, they had a lot of good chances, and we also had a lot of good chances, and uh, they just happened to capitalize on two to our one. So, uh, so a painful question. Uh, what were your reactions on the first goal? First goal. What did you say? Don't tell us that. What did don't, you say? Don't tell us that. I couldn't quite hear that. <laughs> uh, we don't want to. We don't want to blame the refs for anything like that. I mean, that's the way the game goes. Uh, you know, it's tough, to, you know, when, when you see a play that you think is a foul, but obviously he probably saw it differently. Um, as far as that goes, we've been down, we've been tied before. Our heads were still high. I mean, we definitely thought, we didn't think we were going to lose that game by any means. And, uh, you know, in the overtime, they just got a little bit, you know, they got pretty on the ball and they scored. Yeah. Like you said, the, la the air went out of us a little, but in the beginning of overtime, we had our chances as well. We were attacking, we didn't let that stop us. But unfortunately, the tables turned their way today. It was a tough game. Uh, there was fouls all over the place. First half, second half, and uh, he was, the ref wasn't calling much. Mostly and, going against us. Yeah, <laughs> like usual. But I uh, guess we didn't get that one, so it's a tough loss. Switching more positively, you guys came in on ranked. Uh, do you feel like what you've achieved, do you beat number one, number two, and you switched number three all the way to overtime? Do you guys feel like that's going to give a little respect to, uh, to the program that you guys are running? Definitely. Uh, the last four or five games, our team chemistry has been out the roof. We've been playing unbelievable, and hopefully it will carry over to the next season and the season after that, and we can come back next year and uh, make some noise as well. I think We're excited. We I think we just show if you're playing hot at the right time, you can go far in this tournament. And if you have a good team like us, solid defense, pe anyone can score on our field. Our numbers show that, so anything can happen in the tournament. Uh, we 
we think about them all the time. Uh, it's more of a quiet um, thing. You know, everyone says their prayer, you know, for them all the time. But uh, it's more of a quiet thing because it was so tragic. But, uh, you know, the season was really for him and for Cam. And uh, I think that definitely gave us a big motivation, especially playoff time. Uh, Cam, oh, our senior who broke his uh, broke his fibula and tibula. When was that? Um, we played York. Was, I think it was probably our sixth or seventh game this season. Coach Seager, um, how would you describe this season? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's kind of like what Span said. Our, our team chemistry is through the roof. and I mean, we're just before the game. The guys are joking around, having a good time. and that's, that's a, It's fun. It's good to be around good kids and... and uh, We've got a lot of them. We got 33 good kids that are that just want to play hard for each other, basically. It's definitely, um, you know, obviously we're playing for each other. Um, you know, we, we we consider ourselves family, but uh, yeah, they're they're a good motivation. Um, I like to think that we'd be in the same place if those two tragedies didn't happen. But uh, yeah, they're a good motivator. I would say. Yeah, I took over the role for Cam, and uh, he's been pushing me through and giving me tips, and he's been really pushing me, and I've been trying to fill his shoes because he, he was such a great player in his four years at Lynchburg College. How did he get I think he was he was dribbling uh, t towards goal, uh, and the kid just came in with a pretty hard tackle, and... Uh, Kind of wasn't a pleasant sight, but uh, just went through his leg and broke his leg. Coach, overall thoughts on the game, coming back to the game again? Just tough. I told him it was, you know, didn't go our way at the end. Um, real proud of him. We've got 11 seniors that, that fought hard all the way through the year. We got through a lot of adversity this year. Um, I thought we'd get through the adversity of that goal as well, but uh, it just didn't happen. I mean, their kid's a, a phenomenal finisher. We can't let him shoot like that. So, um, but just real happy for the guys. I mean, this experience has been fantastic. The NCAA has, been, has put on a great, great venue. Um, they deserve it. I mean, Division Three should be you know, respected like this. Those keep those teams can play. So. Um, all the respect for the NCAA to be able to put on a, a show like this. I was glad both teams got after it and, and showed their best. So next year, what's your goal? It's the end of the season. I know you're going to be thinking more about that later, but just quickly. We graduated boatload, so um, we want to win a couple games next year. It would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, uh, a lot of new young kids, so uh, you know. Hopefully, we've got uh, some kids that can come in and step up, step in for these guys that are leaving. We've got two here that I expect big time, big things. I already told Spans that I'm expecting big things, right? I told you that over there yeah. when we were getting the trophy. So already thinking about next year in that aspect. So um, I just want to enjoy this a little bit, at least till Tuesday, maybe when you got to go back out recruiting again. So yeah.